my name is Judy and welcome to a new video. So today's video is going to be a 48 hour readathon and I think this might be like the first like official one I've ever done and I'm really really excited because I'm doing this with my patrons. So we all have a discord and we're all going to be talking about all the books we read on there and psyching each other up to get through a lot of books. So it's going to be a lot of fun and I'm very very excited. I'm definitely in a reading mood. So today is Friday and we're planning to do this readathon until Sunday. So everyone's kind of just starting like whenever they can really so i was originally gonna start at 11 but it's currently 20 past 11 so i think i'm gonna start it maybe i honestly don't know because the thing is i'm going out for coffee with my friend at 12 so yeah i don't know when officially to start it probably after that maybe so probably not till later this afternoon but i thought i'd quickly film the intro now um so i will let you guys know exactly what time i start reading at and i think what i'm going to do for this is to use my timer and whenever i'm reading i'm gonna time it and then when i'm not reading i'm gonna pause it so that i'm actually reading for a full 48 hours so i think i'm gonna do that i might change my mind and end up I'm not doing that i don't know i have no idea what i want to read so i'm stuck between reading popular tiktok books and doing this as like a themed vlog because i've been getting a lot of requests for that or do i just read whatever i feel like which is kind of what i'm leaning towards because i'm feeling like i want to read some manga i want to read a few graphic novels and poetry books and just general books so yeah i think i'm gonna do that i don't know which books i want to read the ones i do know for sure these ones so i'm currently 80 percent of the way through zodiac academy 2 on kindle so i plan to finish that during this readathon and then i want to make a progress on this women kingdom i haven't started this yet and i really really do need to so i don't think realistically i will read this whole like 400 page book it's probably just not gonna happen um and a lot of my patrons are saying that it's not the best at holding your attention so not the best book for a readathon so i probably will just read a bit of this if i can get like 100 pages read and if i'm really really feeling it then maybe get halfway through i will be very very happy but we'll see so i am gonna take this out with me and then i'm gonna go through my shelves now and pick out some different books i am gonna take myself out for the day so i think i'm gonna go and sit in one of my favorite like coffee shop garden places and read because it's a really nice sunny day so i'm not gonna take all of the books with me just some of them but i'm gonna go around my shelves now and just pick out a few options and then pick out a pile of options from that if that makes sense so yes let's go and pick some books to okay, read so obviously i'm gonna have to choose some romance books or something so like i said i originally wanted to do like a colleen hoover like type vlog but i don't think i'll do that so i will probably read these in another vlog but let me know if you guys would like to see that um but i think i might actually read rarity though because i've been thinking about it a lot recently it's a thriller romance i believe which i've never really read one of those before and i'm just really intrigued by it and i think it could be like a really really fast read so i think this is definitely going to be an option so i'll pop that here for now um then I kind of want to read one of these because I've been meaning to for so long and these are really fast reads and I do love my romance so maybe the mistake because it's the second book um although I tried to read this a few weeks ago and I struggled to get into it first because I don't like the narrative of the guy in here at the start like he's crushing on his friend's girlfriend and I just I'm not vibing with that but I have heard this is quite good um so yeah i kind of do want to read it so we'll put that in the options pile maybe this one oh i don't know because it's between this one as an option and the fine print as well so i don't know because i did kind of start this like when i say started it i read five pages so maybe i should put this one on my tbr and everyone is going on about how good this is i'm not sure which one i should read I don't know we'll put them both in the pile <laughs> okay so i think that's gonna be it for romance books because i just don't know what exactly i'm in the mood for so i think that's gonna stay in that pile although hmm oh i've destroyed this copy but i kind of want to read this i was supposed to read this with my friends last year and didn't so this one might be cool to start as well i don't know we'll put it in the pile um look how badly like damage size i really need to buy a new copy we'll go with this pile for now let's put them on the reading chair low-key want to read this <laughs> but 
I don't know if I should take that out in public with me, to be honest. Mm, no, we'll save that for another readathon. Maybe none of those, but I do want to read some poetry. So the question is, what poetry do I want to read? I do have some other poetry books that I recently bought, which aren't on this shelf. So maybe I'll read one of those, but I'm thinking maybe this one. Um, which I was going to read for another 24 hour and I didn't, so maybe we'll go with this one. This one's like rewritten like fairy tales, goddesses, all that kind of stuff. It's very like feminist and it just sounds so good. So maybe this one will be a good contender. I might read a couple of poetry books today because I'm definitely in the mood for poetry. So yeah, I think this one can go in the pile. These are some of the books that I got for my birthday. So I'm thinking this because my wonderful friend meg from pride and fiction got me this for my birthday and i've been wanting this and wanting to read it for so long um and it has really cool like little illustration posters like things in here and it's poetry inspired by aphrodite so really tempted to read that i think i definitely will actually read this one let's put that there um yeah i'm not gonna read that i recently read this and loved it um so maybe we will read shine your icy crown by amanda lovelace which is another poetry collection i'm just really in a poetry vibe at the moment um so maybe this one as well okay so this is like my junji ito shelf so kind of in the mood for some junji ito if i'm being honest i'm gonna have a hard time figuring out which one uh hmm, so maybe this one because i've been wanting to read this for ages again though this is another like sci-fi vibey one I'm pretty sure this one's to do with aliens, so that sounds cool. Let's add that to the pile as well. This pile's getting a little bit out of hand. We're going to add this because I've been reading this since like last summer and I do really want to finish it. So I'm on page 312, so there's about 100 pages left. So I'll add this on and maybe finish reading that, but I don't know. And lastly, I'm kind of feeling a throne of glass reread because I started rereading this and annotating it and then stop to read something else um and i got to page 84 um and i already know exactly what's happened so far in this so i'd probably just continue on from page 84 if i was going to but i am kind of tempted to reread this book so let's add this to the pile as well <laughs> Okay, so here is the options pile. It's very, very big. So I think because I don't know exactly what I want to read right now, I'm going to pull out just what I'm going to take out with me for the afternoon. And then maybe I'll dip into this across the weekend, depending on my mood. So I'm definitely going to be taking this Woven Kingdom and my Kindle. And then I think I'm going to take Verity and maybe start this whilst I'm out. And then I'm going to take one or two of the poetry books as well, I think. And maybe the manga, <laughs> I don't know. So yeah, I think I'm definitely going to take this one. Um, because I'm really excited about this one. So I'll take that. And I think I will also take Shine Your Icy Crown by Amanda Lovelace. And do I take this with me? It's really heavy. So I don't know. But I also really want to read Yoke. Oh my god, I really don't know what I want to do. The stress. I might read, like, the first page of this and, like, some of the other ones and see what I want to read. Maybe that's the best thing to do. But I don't know if I'm in the mood to read it and I've heard that it's very, very sad. Oh, I don't know. This will be a really sad book. Oh, I really don't know. I don't know. Let's read a little bit of Verity. Ooh. Ew. Ew. What the heck? Right, if you're squeamish and you don't like gore or just anything gross, skip ahead like 10 seconds because I'm going to read this line which is disgusting. It says, I closed my eyes before his head went under the tire, but I heard it pop like the cork of a champagne bottle. That is so disgusting. I actually really want to read it. <laughs> oh. oh, I really don't know which one to read between these two. I don't think I can take 
all of these out with me because my bag will just be way too heavy if I take this many books with me and I'm realistically not going to read all of these. I don't know what to do. This is so stressful. Okay, maybe I should ask my patrons. I'm going to do that. I'm going to ask in the discord which one I should read. Okay, someone already said Verity, so let's just go with Verity. I'm not gonna, like, spend any more time on this because I'm just wasting time. So we're gonna go for these three and I'll probably take that other Amanda Lovelace poetry book with me as well. Um, so I'm gonna try to read maybe both the poetry books whilst I'm out today and then read, like, I want to say 100 pages but it probably won't to be honest but at least start this book because I'm filming a Patreon spoiler filled um reading vlog for this book and then read Verity so yeah let's let's stick with these and see how it goes but I am really really scared <laughs> especially of Verity I've had it's really really messed up so yeah let's just let's just go for it let's just do it so yes i also have my kindle gonna finish zodiac academy book two but depending on how that ends as well i might start book three so we'll see because i'm just really enjoying this series now two is so much better than book one by the way um but yes anyways gonna take these with me and hopefully my back doesn't really really hurt from all the heaviness that is these books but yes i'm gonna go and get myself sorted before my friend gets here for coffee with her and then like i said i'm gonna go out into town and go to a coffee shop somewhere and sit and read all day in the sun hopefully um maybe go to the bookstore because why not i probably won't talk to you guys until i get home later this evening from like my little day out i just want a change of scenery so i will actually read so yes i will catch up with you guys later but enjoy some b-roll for now <laughs> We got time on our side, we're in a state of hope I need you on my fire, I want you to know That every time you're away, I long for you so much I can find my way We got everything here, at least to stay alive shop i've been there all day pretty much and it was really really nice i just sat outside in the sun and read zodiac academy 2 and i finished it that book was so much better than the first one like so much better if you've seen my previous reading vlogs you'll know with the first book it took me 
a lot of tries to get into it so i was reading it for my patreon buddy read in i think it was february's and there is a spoiler filled reading vlog of me reading that book over on my patreon yes it took me like five goes to get into that book and i didn't necessarily do enough it but i kept starting it and then putting it down and then starting it and putting it down and i just couldn't get into it and eventually i ended up reading it on kindle to start with really got into it and then transferred to the physical book and the pacing for that book is a little all over the place like i don't know it just took me so long to get into it that being said it's very addictive the main characters are just I love them so it's very character driven and because of that you want to continue reading and you can't stop and I still really enjoyed it I think I rounded it up to four stars in the end but the second book just wow so much better five stars absolutely loved it was just so good so fast-paced action-packed hilarious Tori is the funniest character like she's quite literally one of the funniest wittiest characters i've ever read like some of the lines in that book were just i can't like if you've read it you know but there's a scene where she is meeting darius's father who's one of the celestial people in charge and this guy's like a dick basically <laughs> and she is like in this garage with darius and his father comes and says like you know like who do you think you are blah blah why do you think you can talk to me like that and she basically says all she sees is an overgrown iguana lizard um with such and such and such i don't know it's just so freaking funny and she also calls darius a twat waffle at one point and i was in genuine tears like it's just so funny and the second book was just a million times better than the first the ending of that book like the scene wow just and i've come to love darius i've come to love him so yes i just loved it okay i'm gonna stop ranting about that book but it was so good guys and i immediately want to pick up the third book and i'm tempted to download it on my kindle i did get an email notification before to say books two to five have come in to the bookshop for me the only thing is the bookshop i work at isn't local so i don't know whether to go out my way tomorrow to go there to pick them up and then just like hang around there for the day maybe i'll do that and i can physically read the third book because i feel like that would be fun i don't know i kind of just want to ditch my entire tbr now and just read the third book because it was just so good i just need more i love tori so much um but yes anyways i have finished a book five stars i didn't end up starting this woven kingdom and i really need to i might audio book it i'm not too sure did start this poetry book which is aphrodite made me do it by trista mattia and i'm really enjoying it so far so i'm on page 71 um, so I'm almost halfway through. There are a lot of trigger warnings for this already. So please look up those if you're going to read this. Um, this is covering some very intense topics already. But I am enjoying it. And it's kind of like mixed media. And it has like these nice little like illustration things throughout. Um, but yeah, I'm definitely enjoying this one. It's good so far. So I've read half of this. So I think I might read some more of this before dinner and try to finish this and this will be my second book read of the readathon so far i did also call into the bookstore whilst i was out because obviously i was going to and i did get myself two books and then i got two for my cousin but i picked up two books and these are both on my comfort zone but i was totally influenced by bookstagram because i've been seeing them everywhere and i actually read the prologue and a bit of the first page for one of them and wow like just wow like i'm so hooked i really want to read this like as soon as possible this is a fiction novel but honestly that prologue sucked me right in this is almond by Won pyon sun i'm sorry if i'm pronouncing that incorrectly but i think that's how you pronounce the name and um, that's what it was when i looked it up anyways and yeah i love this cover as well like it's just such a unique cover um but i read the prologue for this and I, i'll just do this here and you guys can like pause it and read it but i don't know i just love it like i love it um and i did start reading the first page well i read the first chapter which is literally like a paragraph long and then i read some of the next bit and honestly like this kind of just has like such an a uh, i don't even know what the word is but the writing style i don't know i really really vibe with it already so i'm very excited to read this and this basically says that yunjae was born with a brain condition called alexemia i don't know if i'm pronouncing that correctly 
that makes it hard for him to feel emotions like fear or anger. He does not have friends, but his devoted mother and grandmother provide him with a safe and contented life. But everything changes when a shocking act of random violence shatters his world, leaving him alone and on his own. Struggling to cope with his loss, he retreats into silent isolation until troubled teenager Gon arrives at school. The two form a surprising bond, and when Gon suddenly finds his life at risk, Yunjae will have to step outside of every comfort zone he has created to perhaps become a hero of his own story. And basically, when I read some of the reviews online, he said this is about a monster meeting another monster. It just sounded really cool. I don't know, like, I'm just really, really excited for this. Had amazing things about this book. So, they had it in the bookstore, so I picked it up, and I do plan to read this fairly soon because. Like I said, that first like bit of this book that I read was just so kind of captivating and I really want to read it now. So yes, we have this one. And then this next one is another one I definitely would not usually read at all. This is a memoir and this one I've been seeing everywhere and it just sounds really beautiful and heartbreaking and I don't know, like I just really, really want to read it. So I might audio book it and follow along with the physical book. I'm not too sure. Um, but that is The Year of Magical Thinking by Joan Didion. And this cover again is gorgeous. Um, so this is basically about a memoir and it's kind of like a story where um, I think her daughter falls ill and then not too long after so does her husband or he passes away. And it's about her and like dealing with her grief and like going through the motions of it, dealing, you know, with life and just everything that comes with it. Yes, I've heard so many good things about this book. People have said it's changed their life. Like, it's just very, very life-changing. It changes the way you view the world and different things in it. And I don't know, like, I just really... I'm interested and drawn to this book for some reason so yeah I picked both of these up and I'm very excited to read both of these but yeah I finished a book and I'm halfway through the poetry one so Jamie is going to make us some yummy burgers for dinner so I think whilst we have those I'm going to start editing oh and I also didn't start reading until about 2 30 p.m and I forgot to do the timer stopwatch thing so I think I'm just going to read probably until tea time oh i just took a screenshot by accident <laughs> but i'm probably going to read until like tea time on sunday because i spent a lot of hours walking around town and obviously out with my friend and things like that um so yeah i'm gonna probably do this 48 hour readathon until tea time on sunday i really wanted to do like actual physical reading for 48 hours and time it but like i said i've forgotten to do that and i don't know how long i was reading for this afternoon so i am just going to do the readathon until like tea time on sunday and yeah i'm excited because i'm in a reading mood hoping to read a lot this weekend um i might go out again tomorrow just because the weather's so nice but i will let you guys know sorry my phone's going off i'm just gonna put it on silent the group chat is going off right now <laughs> yes anyways that is all my updates and my little haul i am gonna go and have dinner with jamie do some editing and things and i will update you guys in a bit <laughs>
Okay, hi, hello. So today is a Saturday and I have a few reading updates. So I mentioned yesterday I finished Zodiac Academy 2. So I did download the third book on my Kindle last night and I do plan to start this because wow, this series is just getting so good and I'm really excited. I went on to like kind of Zodiac TikTok last night and I'm terrified of book six and seven now. Like I'm genuinely scared to read them, especially book seven. So I'm a little bit apprehensive, but I also really want to read book three because I've heard it's one of the best in the series. So I am excited, but scared. Yes, anyways, reading updates. I finished reading this poetry book this morning. So this is the second book I have finished for this readathon. And that is Aphrodite Made Me Do It. And I gave this three stars. I really, really enjoyed this. There were so many stunning poems in here. And a lot of these are kind of about getting over trauma, abuse, self-love, self-worth and other kind of intense subjects like that. So if you are going to read this, bear that in mind and check trigger warnings first because there are a lot in this book. But I really, really enjoyed this. Some of these were so beautiful and I loved the ones that were linked to mythology. I didn't give it a higher rating because some of these I personally couldn't relate to. And for me, poetry is all about kind of relatability a lot of the time and I couldn't relate to some of these but i could still appreciate them and see how amazing they were and especially for people who have been through these things as well i think they'd find like a lot of value in the words in here but yeah i really did enjoy this it gave it three stars and i really really love how there's like little kind of illustration type things throughout this book as well which is really fun to kind of change up a bit but yes it gave this three stars second book finished of the readathon so it's currently 10 57 so i just finished getting ready i haven't done really any more reading and i didn't really do any more reading last night i was literally so exhausted last night so i pretty much just edited some of this vlog and then i went to bed so yes didn't really do any more reading but I am hoping to get a lot of reading done today. I just don't know exactly what I'm in the mood to read. I'm thinking today I'll probably read the Amanda Lovelace poetry book, which is in my bag. So I think I might read that. And then later I will probably read Santa. I think... Oh, I've got it upside down. Wait, have I got it upside down? Yeah. So I'll probably read Santa maybe later because I am in the mood for a bit of manga today. So maybe I will read this one later today. Like I said, I want to start Zodiac Academy 3. Really need to read this Woven Kingdom, but for some reason I feel like not in the mood for it now which is annoying hi frankie <laughs> hello up on his perch tail swishing bum in my head love that for me frankie he's so big now look how big he is hey you're so big aren't you i'm gonna get back up <laughs> yeah frankie has gotten very very big yes anyway so i want to read zodiac academy 3 i might start the audiobook for this women kingdom but i'm not sure and i also need like another book to read i just don't know what i'm in the mood for like part of me wants to read some of almond because i read the prologue for yesterday and it was like really really good um but it's not like a book i don't think i could read quickly so i don't think it's a good idea as much as i want to but maybe i will i have three romance books that were in the pile but i don't know which i want to read so i've got the mistake which probably would be a fast read if i could get into it i just really didn't like the character like the guy in here so i really don't know i don't know maybe this one because i feel like it will be like quite a fast read but i don't know if i'm gonna be because like i said i just don't like the guy i don't know what it is about him but he's giving me the ick so yeah that's kind of not great when you're gonna be reading Roman. i think i'm actually going to go out again today i think i'm gonna go and pick up the rest of the zodiac academy books that i mentioned yesterday that are at the bookstore and then probably just go and sit in another coffee shop again or something i don't know or maybe i will come straight home again i don't know but the weather's just so nice again today that i don't want to just sit in all day so i think i will probably just go out and hopefully get a lot of reading done especially on the train because it's quite a commute so yeah hopefully i can read a lot on the train but yes anyways i'm gonna stop being dramatic and figure out what i want to read and get myself ready to go out and then i will update you guys a little bit later when i probably get home maybe yeah i think that's the plan so i will catch up with you guys in a little while i totally forgot all about verity so i think i'm taking these three and my kindle to read zodiac academy three so i think this is what i'll take i did want to take almond but I think I'm going to leave it. So yeah, these are the books I'm planning to take and potentially read, we'll see.
guys so i'm back and i have this drink i got one of these yesterday's this is a new drink from starbucks and it is a oat shaken espresso with chocolate and it is delicious i do not like espressos i don't like strong coffee i am a pumpkin spice latte caramel frappuccino kind of gal like those are the kind of iced coffees that I like. Occasionally an iced latte with oat milk, vanilla and a lot of sugar. Um, but yeah, I don't like strong coffee. And espressos are strong. But this is delicious. So if you don't like strong coffee, but you like chocolatey coffee, try this. It's so good. Yes, I picked one of these up on the way home. And I definitely do need the coffee because I'm feeling very tired. And I have a lot of reading to make up for because I barely read anything today when I was out which is disgusting but it was just so incredibly busy and loud everywhere that I just couldn't find a place to sit that was nice and cosy and chill for me to like read in. However, I did pick up the Zodiac Academy books so... Oh! That's not good. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Oops. Okay, so we're going to pretend that that didn't happen. <laughs> so as I was saying, I did get those Zodiac Academy books that I said had come in at the bookshop for me. So these were so heavy on my shoulder. So sore. I'm definitely getting a bath tonight. These books are so friggin' big. This is like ridiculous. Look at the size of these things. Like look at these. You don't understand how heavy these are <laughs> and how big they are. Like these could literally kill someone. Like look at the size of these. So I got books two to five. I still obviously need to get six and seven. So book two I finished yesterday, which was this one. But I have started to read book three, which is, oh, okay. Is The Reckoning. And this is a beast of a book. I didn't realize how long it was. Um, so I'm 100 pages into this. So I'm currently on page 103 and i am really really liking it so far considering we're 100 pages in not a lot has really happened yet but we've kind of found something out that might be very very significant so i'm excited to see how that plays out um this book is over 600 pages long like and this is the third one i didn't realize that likelihood is I'm not gonna finish this during this readathon but i mean if I can get halfway, I will be very, very happy, even though I'm ignoring the rest of my TBR now because I just want to read this. But yes, I did start it today and I've read 100 pages and that is all the reading that I've done, which is terrible. I do have tomorrow to do that. I have until like tea time tomorrow. So I've still got like all of tomorrow to read. Don't know how much reading I'll get done tonight and I'm so disappointed about today because I was in such a reading mood, but because I was out and about, I just couldn't really read so that sucks but yeah because i didn't do the time thing i can't really add it back on so it is what it is we're just gonna keep going with it so yeah my plans are to read more of this i think me and jamie are gonna watch a movie later and then i think i'm gonna get a bath and read this because i do a lot of reading in the bath and my shoulder hurts so yeah i do want to read some more of this i just still can't believe how big this is though like it's absolutely ridiculous Yes, that is all of my updates <laughs> not very many um i am really loving this so far though like there's not really been any action we're kind of just discussing what happened at the end of the second book and things are very tense between darcy and orion and also tori and darius i just love tori and darius so friggin much like they absolutely hate each other but i love them like i love them and i'm so excited to see what happens with them in this book i'm gonna read this book all night and have some caffeine to hopefully wake me up because I'm tired. I don't know for sure if I'll update you guys again tonight. I know this vlog has kind of sucked. It's not been my conventional like 24 hour readathon style vlogs. But it's just because I've had so many other things going on. And I've been out all weekend. It's kind of hard to like do it like I usually would. But I will be doing another 24 hour readathon vlog very very soon. Where I will literally do nothing but read for 24 hours straight. So yes. This vlog should just be like a fun vlog anyway for you guys. So yeah, maybe this will just turn into a weekend reading vlog. I don't know. But yeah, I'm going to start rambling. I'm going to go and have dinner. And then I am going to get some cosy clothes. And read some more of this stunning book. Okay, hi guys. So today is Sunday. And it's currently half one in the afternoon. And it's the first time I'm picking up this camera. And I haven't done any reading yet today. So, 
yeah <laughs> um but anyways this vlog is pretty much just turned into a weekend reading vlog let's be honest still done quite a bit of reading though during this reader thong because i finished the academy 2 and i've read two poetry books i think is it two or is it one maybe it's just one I know and I've read 200 pages of a Zodiac Academy now um so I'm on page 200 and well I'm on page 200 and I read some of this in the bath last night and then I went to bed which is why I didn't pick the camera up to vlog but I am really really enjoying this um it's not as fast paced as book two I will say but the tension between Darius and Tori yes just yes loving it yeah I'm 200 pages in and I barely made a dent in this huge huge book um but i'm not gonna finish this today but i'm hoping i can read maybe like another 100 pages or something but yes definitely definitely loving this and then my other plans for the day are to potentially read galatea because this is a really short little book by madeline millet short story and i totally forgot about it um and it's perfect to read for this readathon so i'm thinking i'm probably gonna read this today just because it's a nice short read to squeeze in it's mother's day in the uk so i'm going around to my parents to see my mum and spend time with her and we're having dinner and stuff so obviously i'm not gonna be able to read like loads but i think what i'm gonna do is because i haven't read for hours like today or done any reading so far i think i will just like do this vlog up until like i get tired or something so like maybe until like this later this evening or something and then just end the readathon and this vlog like there so i think that's what i'm gonna do um but the weather's like quite nice today um so i'm gonna take a bunch of books around to my parents see my mum and then maybe just sit in the garden and read there so yeah that's kind of all my updates for now i will probably chat to you guys later maybe at my parents or something or just when i get home so yes goodbye for now <laughs> As pretas não saem do lugar Quando cor no inglês Ter que ir pro xadrez Porque não tem mais onde So I'm just here to wrap up this vlog and to end the readathon. So this 48 hour readathon wasn't really a 48 hour readathon. I did not read for an actual 48 hours because I forgot to put my timer on, which is really annoying. I don't even think I read for 24 hours in total, if I'm being completely honest. But yeah, this kind of turned into a sort of weekend reading vlog, but I still had so much fun doing this. I'm just a bit gutted that I was so like busy and I couldn't really take it seriously and do it properly. But yeah, 
I still had a fun weekend. I still got some reading done, so it's all good. I ended up finishing three books in total, which is nowhere near what I'd originally planned. And I was definitely in a reading mood, but like I said, doing other things and being out and about just got in the way from actually being able to read. So I guess this isn't too bad. So the first book I finished was Zodiac Academy 2, which is Ruthless Faye. I gave this five stars. This was so good. A million times better than the first one. Absolutely loved it. Highly recommend. Really, really good. And then I also finished this poetry collection, which I gave three stars and I've already spoken about. Really enjoyed this. It was so nice and very hard hitting but yeah really good poetry collection i love the mixed media in here as well and then lastly i finished this book today which was a super short one which was galatea by madeline miller gave this four stars i'd say it's more of a 3.75 it didn't have her usual like kind of a lyrical poetic style of writing that you get in Cersei and Song of Achilles however this is a short story so I understand that it is a lot different but I really enjoyed this it was quite a brutal tale and a quite unsettling at times and quite awful to be honest um and I really did feel for Galatea a lot but I really really enjoyed at the back of the book there is a little afterward which i thought really summed everything up nicely so if you do read this make sure you do read the afterward i really really enjoyed this millennia there have been men who react with horror and disgust to women's independence men who desire women yet hate them and who take refuge in fantasies of purity and control what would it be like to live with such a man as your husband there are too many today who could answer that that is the mark of a good source myth it is water so wide it can reach across centuries i hope you enjoyed the swim so yeah i just really enjoyed this it was just such an interesting story and just a really really good one so yeah i would definitely recommend this gave it four stars and this is my last book i read yes i'm not very <laughs> pleased with what i read really but at least i got some reading done and just generally had a really lovely weekend so i hope you guys still enjoyed this anyway if you would like to see my previous 24 hour readathons you can watch those in my reading vlog playlist and i'll have them linked down below as well i will be doing another one fairly soon i hope which will probably just be a 24 hour one where i literally do read for 24 hours timed so look out for that everything i have mentioned i will have linked in the description box along with the link to my patreon and that's where you can find extra content from me such as reading vlogs we do a monthly buddy read as well where i film a spoiler filled reading vlog for that book we also have a discord where we chat we do these 24 hour slash 48 hour readathons each month and i upload a lot of extra additional content on there as well so if you are interested in any of that then you can head there don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you did enjoy it and leave a kind of zodiac star signy vibey emoji in the comments if you did make it to the end of this vlog let me know if you have read any of the books i mentioned in this vlog and what your thoughts are on those books or just let me know if there have been any really good five star reads you have recently read i would absolutely love to know which books you guys have been reading recently but yes thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope you're all safe and well i hope you're reading lots of good books and i'll see you in the next one bye